Hi everyone. Yeah, you see me with two bottles of wine. You wondering what I'm what I'm doing with them? I honestly don't know. But anyway, that's what we're here to figure out. I'm trying to start a new series that I'm calling Nancy Swine Diaries. It's going to be a learning experience that I need your help with. So I hope that you stick around and join me, and then help me. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to have you stop in and visit from time to time. And tonight I am doing something that it's a little out of my comfort zone. I mean, you would think wearing an exercise outfit in front of you with uh, jewelry and you know, a little fascinator here would be out of my comfort zone, but sadly to say that is not out of my comfort zone. What is out of my comfort zone is, I don't know how to start this. I love wine. Alrighty, there I said it, I said it out loud, but I don't know what it is that I like about it. And I know all these people, well not all these people, but you know, they have wine tasting classes and they do go on tours and do wine tastings and then they have to sip a little bit of the wine and tell you the region where it's from and the type of grapes that it's from and a whole description of the wine. Well, I, I don't really, you know, and as much as I say, you know, I, I really don't care about that. I want to know, do I like the wine? Do I not like the wine? But then the sad thing is when I do find a wine I like, why do I like it? So when I go to the store and I'm taking my long romantic walks down the, at the wine aisle and I have no idea what I'm looking for sometimes. So sometimes it's like the label that gets me. It's a cute label or it's a cute name. Some of the names I don't want to say out in public because you know, they're kind of a little risque, but you know, and I'll, I'll grab wines like that, but then I don't always like them and they end up getting dumped down the drain uh, or whatever. So I want to try to figure out what it is that I like about the wine that I like so that I know if someone's describing a wine and I say, oh yeah, I had a wine that was like that and I absolutely loved it. Or if someone describes a wine and says, oh yeah, I had one like that, yeah, that that was disgusting. I don't want to buy anything like that again. So what I want to try to do with your help is try to figure out what it is that I like about the wines using descriptions and I, I did print it out this glossary of wine th wine things that I, I need to read and figure out what it is, you know, about, it's, do I have an assertive wine? Is it attractive? Is it balanced? Is it big? Is it crisp? Crisp? Is it closed? Is it complex? Is it delicate? Is it hearty? Does it have tannins? Is it acidity? Is it dry? Is it semi-sweet? Is it sweet? Is it elegant? Is it developed? I don't know what all these things mean. So, like I said, I'm going to need your help on trying to figure this out. But anyway, I have two open bottles of wine in the refrigerator. So, I thought I would start there. Maybe describe the taste, whatever that, that's there. And maybe with your help, I can figure it is. What is the description of the wine so I know next time what I'm looking for when I buy it. So, to have a little snack in between. I got my little cheese and cheese platter here. So, I've got some spiced salami i've got some red and green grapes i've got gouda cheese with tomato and basil and i have some smoked cheddar with bacon and just some townhouse crackers just for cleansing my palate so the wines that i have open i've got my purple toad winery my strawberry jalapeno so so good but i think that's got a kind of a strong aftertaste Right, so maybe I would start with this other one that I've got to open, which is my Wine Haven, the Chocolate Zombie. Alrighty, so of course this one is just a screw cap, which is, which is still okay with me. And I'm just going to pour just a little bit in here. And I know they, they mention about letting your wine breathe for 20 minutes or so. I don't have 20 minutes to wait. When I want a glass of wine, I don't want to open it and let it breathe for 20 minutes. I want to drink it. I want to drink it now. So I know you're supposed to kind of look at it. Maybe put a clear piece of paper behind it. And I know that it's coat, coating my glass. But I don't exactly know what that means. Is that good? Is that bad? It's got a nice kind of a deep red, kind of a purpley color. And then they say you're, you know, shouldn't go like this because your hand might warm up the wine and that could the taste. You're supposed to swirl it around in here. And then what do you smell? I smell grapes. Yeah, I smell wine. And I smell chocolate. 
and I've, you know, I've had this a few times. I know that I like it. What do I like about it? I like the taste. How do I know what else I'm supposed to like about it? So anyway, I poured probably a little too much here, so let me have a sip. I think you're supposed to swirl it around in your mouth and then spit it out, but I'm not going to spit it out in front of you guys. And if I have a wine that I like, I don't want to waste it by spitting it. So. So it does kind of leave a, a rich taste in your mouth. I can taste. It's a dry red wine that's in here. And, um. I think this is, they said this is from Marquette grapes, which I don't really know too much about Marquette grapes. So I do taste that dry red wine, but it's sweet because it's got some dark chocolate in it, but it's not like overly sweet. I mean, you could still have this with, oh my God, I can imagine this. If you've got a steak like this cooked on the grill, you cut into it and it's the juices are just flowing, this would still go good with it. But because it's chocolate, you could have this with a piece of cheesecake. Do I want steak? Do I want cheesecake? Oh, I have cheese and crackers. Alrighty. So anyway, the description from Wine Haven on this wine, it says it is it's made with basswood honey. And I know they have their own beehives and they make honey wine there. They make different uh, types of honey and jams with honey and things like that. So they do have their own honey bees. So it's made with honey, Marquette grapes, and it says it's a strong, monstrous red wine. Don't know exactly what that means. It says it's got strong depth and complexity, and then it's infused with dark chocolate. Alrighty, so can you tell me from the descriptions that someone would use that was a professional wine taster, how would they describe this? So if I know, if I saw those descriptions, on another wine bottle or another company, I would know that that's what I want. Perplexing, isn't it? Alrighty, cheers. I'm gonna have to take a big sip. I'll probably take a sip, then I'll have a little bit of snack, and then we'll come back, and then we'll do the jalapeno strawberry wine. Yeah, that's good too. Alrighty, so we are back for bottle number two. And one thing I didn't mention on that chocolate zombie wine, that one is 15% alcohol. The purple toad, the strawberry jalapeno, is, I believe this one's 12, 12%. And purple toad. Yeah, I love this. I'm gonna try now, maybe not to pour so much in here so I can just kinda finish it off. So we're gonna pour a little bit in. And this one was a corked one. Alrighty, so when I pick it up, it's it's um, it's lighter. You can see through it. It's a light kind of reddish color, like a reddish purple maybe, but still see through. I would think because it's sweet that it would coat the glass more, but it um, it's not coating the glass as much as the uh, chocolate zombie. Like I said, I don't know what that means. I'm gonna swirl this around. This looks fun, doesn't it? So right away I pick up the strawberry and the jalapeno. So they do have a sweetness scale on the back of there, so I know this is a sweet wine. And uh, out of one through six, this one is a five. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Yeah, five out of six. So it is a very sweet wine. But, and I know I've had this before. Okay, cheers everyone. So right away, you taste that sweetness of the strawberry. But as you start to swallow it, you get the hot spiciness of the jalapeno. It's uh, got a little bit of an aftertaste, like the jalapeno you can taste, but it's still with the sweetness of the strawberry. I'm, I'm going to say it's not bitter at all. It's just very sweet. It's very fruity, but that spicy hot just kind of gives it that little zing and little zest. How do you describe that in 
professional terms like a wine taster would have. So I would know if I saw that description somewhere that I would know that I would want it because, you know, maybe I would see another strawberry jalapeno wine and say, oh yeah, that, that, I, I like strawberry jalapeno, but it might be made totally different and I don't like it. You can see my dilemma here. How do you figure out what it is about the wine that you like and the terms that uh, professionals use so that you know when you're reading a review on something if it's something you're going to be interested in. I think tannins are for dry wines only. Um, I remember when I did um, the Vlogmas last year and I had um, a wine of the day for in the wine advent calendar. Most of them were very dry wines and they all mentioned tannins but I really didn't pay attention. So I, I don't know. But anyway. So anyway, Chiara's going to have another sip. So good. Like I say, I don't know what to do about it. But anyway, I was, thought I would start this series. I'm going to call it Nancy's Wine Diaries, I suppose. I'm just kind of looking for tasting different wines and trying to figure out what do I like about them. Um, you know, I would love to be able to go to different places around here and maybe do a quick little video of the outside or something, but I, I don't know if I'll ever get enough nerve to do that. I can do Wine Haven because I've been there before. I just can't go to places that I haven't been before without having a major panic attack. So I do like places that deliver. And I do like my little cheese tray. Yeah, so I didn't even notice when I bought this the other day, this cheese, the, uh, the Gouda with the tomato basil is from Eichton's. And that's a place too that's next to Wine Haven, kind of in a sort of roundabout way. And yeah, so I haven't been there in years, but that was a buffalo farm and they made homemade cheeses and all kinds of buffalo meats. So good. You would think that buffalo luncheon meat was kind of disgusting, but it really was really good. And they have all kinds of cheeses. I think I need to go back there. I probably haven't been there in 20 years, maybe 25. So good. So anyway, just looking for your help on on trying to figure out this wine thing and what do I like about wines and how do I describe it in a way that's professional. That's my goal. Maybe pick up a little bit of knowledge along the way so I can go down any wine aisle and read the labels and say, yep, I want this one. Nope, I want this one. This one's better for me. And that's my goal. But I need your help because I have no idea what I like. I, I know I like it or I know I don't like it. I don't know. But anyway, that's uh, what I'm thinking of for to doing this. I'm kind of debating whether I should put this on a new channel or not. I know I have enough trouble kind of keeping up with one channel. But I, I know a lot of people that watch me, I think I, I turn quite a few people off because, you know, I like to have an occasional drink here and there. And, you know, I don't want to offend anyone. So I thought if I did it on a separate channel people that wanted to follow me on that could and if then you don't then you know you can just you know watch me for my unboxings and things like that so anyway it's a lot of things to kind of think about not going to find any answers tonight but anyway looking forward to your help again and we'll chat again soon